This is Four Fields by Omatana. It's 425.07 megabytes to download. The description is a little bit long, so I'm just going to grab a few things out to show you or read to you. So it says the highlight of this map is it is available as a German map and an American map. You just have to download one map and then you can choose whether you want to play it as a German Verfelden or as an American Four Fields. The map has the following features, four fields, four farms, 31 farmlands, rapid plant growth with seasonal cycles turned off, rye and spelt as additional fruit types, wheat and barley can be sown in spring, meadows with flowers can be sown, nine additional products made from grains and potatoes, selling stations, productions with three times increased productivity, pre-installed and multifunctional productions on the farms, Vineyard, passive income through camping site, passive income through wind, tire, wind turbines, forest, large gardens, horses are worth 40,000 after three years, there's 100 collectibles, three passive income signs, additional ground textures, fields are paintable, additional flowers in landscaping. It does say there at the bottom as well, note on BGA, in order to use the production BGA, you have to buy the property. Then the BGA is fully available. So we'll look at that in a second as we go round. So let's go and check it out. Okay, so once you've got it downloaded and you come into this menu to select what map you want, I just thought I'd show you this bit. So if we scroll across, it's going to show all the maps that our base game and what I've got them installed there's four fields so underneath four fields it says this is a map with four big fields and then it says US edition if I push right once more it slightly changes there and it says Verfelden and it says this is a map with four big fields German edition so we are going to check out the US edition and here we are this is where the game starts you in all of the modes on both maps and this is the map guys so as you can see four massive fields there i'm in new farmer mode and as i said we are in the us edition i'll sort of talk through what's slightly different on those but in terms of the layout and all the sale points and what's you can see around the map none of that changes in either mode but it's just a sort of the equipment's tweaked a little bit and some of the buildings are which i will sort of point out as well so new farmer mode we are actually down here at one of the farms that is the cow farm and this is what we start off with so do start off with field one as you can see is massive and the cow farm as well they're two separate plots that field there 446,000 just over and the farm 104,000 just over like so now the other fields they're going to be around the 400 grand mark as you can see and then the other three farms there's one here we will be buying them up so I won't go into too much detail one there and one there and there's a couple of other little places around the map where we need to buy as well the BGA is here plot 28 321,408 you only need to buy the land and then you own the BGA so not too bad price wise what we'll do is we'll get round to there and we will buy it when we get there and probably sort of finish the tour there as well so I'm going to go round clockwise I think we don't need to go into the middle really so we just follow our way round um, so we're we'll staying in this mode for a second if we scroll up there is a hundred collectibles like it says now productions we do start off with this lot and it <laughs> might seem a little confusing to start with but each farm has a farm production and a farm supply now if you've used omatana's mods before you'll be very very even familiar with a lot of this stuff so we can produce quite a lot already straight off the bat which is nice you don't have to own really any of the other productions to get there so at the farm production we can produce wheat um sorry flour from wheat barley oat sorghum corn rye and spelt so that's pretty good so that will just produce normal standard flour of those crop types we've then got rye flour and spelled flour so if you select these ones 
you will only produce that type of flower. Now the rye flower is kind of like a purple top and bottom to the sort of flower bag and the spelled flower looks more green to me. So that will sort of become a bit more relevant in a second. So obviously you need to put rye in for rye flour, spelt for spelled flour. Move down, bread. That is made the normal way, just with flour produced bread. But we do get a byproduct of pig food, which is quite handy. So it's a bit of a few productions roll into one here. Now we can also then produce mixed bread. So that is standard flour and then your rye flour and a bit of water we can produce mixed bread we can produce spelled bread that is your spelled flour and water bread rolls that is standard flour and water baguettes again standard flour and water muffins <laughs> we've got standard flour sugar and milk there's another muffin we can produce now they're not different muffins, so if you're producing muffins and you sell them, they will just sell as muffins, but it's just the ingredients. So this one we need flour, honey and milk. Cakes is the standard recipe as far as I can see. And then a bit like the sugar meal, we can produce sugar beet sugar. We also get a bit of pig food there as well. Sugar cane or sugar beet cut sugar we can't produce. So if you want to do those, you're going to need to buy the sugar meal, which is on the map. Raisins we can produce, grape juice, sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, cereal, butter, cheese, fabric wool, fabric cotton, cloves. So it's like I say, a lot of productions all rolled into one. French fries, you're going to put potatoes in, get fries out and pig food again. Premium potatoes, potatoes and water. Basically the potatoes are getting washed off, the dirt and etc. To get premium potatoes we're going to be worth more than standard potatoes obviously and a bit more pig food and that is it so quite a lot quite a lot to take in if you're not used to these sort of productions and then we've got our farm supply um like i say each farm has one of these so farm supply and the production as well so grass into hay, like for like, that's pretty cool. We can make TMR, we've got three different recipes. We've got hay, silage and straw. Then we've got just hay and silage, pretty simple that one. And then we can go the full mix, hay, silage, straw and mineral feed. We can make mineral feed by a couple of recipes. So either lime and soybeans or stones and soybeans. Silage we can produce, we've got a few things, grass, hay, chaff or straw we can produce silage you can also produce silage and digestate there so not too bad that's just grass and water we can do that with chaff as well and water we can produce seeds by putting wheat in and barley corn as well and lime um, sorry let me go back to that <laughs> i'll get confused myself so if you're putting in wheat, barley or corn, it is just going to produce seeds. But again, like for like. So there we go. Lime, stones and water. We can produce that. We can produce liquid fertilizer by putting digestate in. We can produce solid fertilizer. You need digestate and lime. And then we've got some pig food recipes. So corn, but we need corn, barley, canola and sugar beet. Sorghum, we need sorghum, wheat canola and potatoes and the potatoes we need potatoes sorghum barley and soybeans and there's also a pig food distributor so like i say quite a lot to take in there is contracts available on the other fields and look at the money you can earn by doing that it's going to take you quite a while depending on how you do it as well so fertilizing 121 grand Animals, we don't have any animals yet, but it's showing up the cow barn because obviously we do own the cow farm. There's our equipment, we'll check that out in a second. Lots of sale points. Also, on the right towards the bottom, you can see there's four buying stations because each farm has a buying station on there. And we can buy quite a few things, to be fair. So we can buy these crops, not everything, so we can't buy grapes or olives, but we can buy seeds and things like that, so pretty handy. I will scroll down, because as soon as we get to stones, that is when the added in crops and productions turn up. So we've got rye and spelt there, 
French fries, premium potatoes, rye flour, spelled flour, mixed bread, spell bread, bread rolls, baguettes, muffins, that is it. So plenty of places to sell everything. There's the crop calendar. So as you can see, wheat and barley we can plant in the spring. If we scroll down, we've got rye and spelt for the planting and harvesting windows. I think that's identical to wheat, so pretty good. Two windows of opportunity there as well for planting. And that is it. So obviously if I push right crop types there, you can see rye and spelt. I don't think there's any on the map just yet. Right, so quite a lot to go through there. Now we'll go through mods and slot counts, things like that now, I think. So mods, if we go up into build mode, in sheds, we have a few modded in sheds. Now some of these are going to be the difference between the German and US edition, but I'm going to jump over to the German edition in a second as well, go through the slot count and equipment because it's slightly different, only ever so slightly. So there's some sheds there, silos, we've got these. Each farm has this farm silo on it. 10 million litre capacity is a multi-fruit. And then we've got different buildings, pallet and bell storage, etc. We have in containers, a couple of things. Buying station, garden pump for water, gas station, etc. Tools, we've got a workshop that's going to cost you nothing, which is pretty cool. And that's what that looks like. Farmhouses, we have quite a few because we've got the US and the German versions. Again, you'll kind of see some of those in a second without going into too much detail. If we go to factories, scroll along, we've got the BGA and then we've got these farm production and farm supplies, different sort of coloured ones like so. And then to greenhouses, we have the open air garden large so again if you've used the open air garden mod by Omatana that will be very familiar to you but I'll talk you through that in a second and it is large very large um, in generators we have those three um, signs that have been included to add a bit of income so we've got a wooden one it says patronage on it 8,400 a month, we've got a silver one, slightly more obviously, 84 grand a month, and then a gold one, 840,000. Only one pound, euro, dollar to place down, that is going to generate a bit of income for you. Pretty cool. In animals, I think there's cows, there's a pasture that holds 20 cows, like so, and we've got a couple of cow barns, 500 that will hold. Horses, there's a couple of things, pigs and sheep, I don't think there's any in chickens. In decoration and others, we've got these farm signs which are pretty cool. So each farm, depending on what one you've got, has got the animal on them. So obviously you can see a sheep there, that's pretty smart, I like that. And then we do have the painting textures, quite a few, animal mud, asphalt, dirt, forest ground, grass, grass dry, grass dry patchy, gravel, gravel dirt, gravel dust, gravel grass, gravel moss, rock, mountain rock dart, pathway, pathway gravel, plates, riverbed, water puddle, wet mud, wet sand. That is it. There's nothing in trees, but there is some added in things in plants. We do have the field create, so we can paint fields on the map, which is nice. And then all sort of different types of flowers. We've got sticks, mushrooms, and things like that. So not too bad. That is the mods out of the way. Let's do slot counts quick. <sighs> it's a lot, isn't it? Right, so I'm just going to take a bit of a breath there. So on the US version, the slot count is... 2,235, which is quite high, but you do start off with quite a lot of equipment. So this is what we've got. So medium tractors, we've got a nice Deutschfahr, large tractors, John Deere 8R and a Case Magnum. We've got the Black Anthem truck there, so obviously very sort of American that. Big Massey Ferguson um, harvester, we've got Manitou telehandler, 86 lizard pickup couple of trailers as you can see header for your harvester not the biggest header 
9.2 meters so you might want to swap that out cultivator cedar so with the cedars you're going to use that to put your meadow grass down and rye and spelt you can see those three symbols at the end there um, fertilizer spreader got mowers loading wagon bell loader a tanker for your animals telehander tools we've got the pallet fork header trailer and a couple of weights 1100 kilogram ones like so now if you sell off that all that equipment the slot count will go down to 1996 and that is the slot count in farm manager and start from scratch because you don't start off with anything no land no equipment so you come on here 1996 in those two modes there is potential to get slot count down even further because you can sell off all the buildings at all the farms it completely opens up the area so if you wanted to design your own farm you can by all means do that now what i'm going to quickly do is hop on over to the german version show you what's slightly different here so the barns you can see very american looking and the farmhouses and we'll go through the slot counts and then i'll bring you back in i'm going to add in some money as well so when you come back we'll be a little bit richer so over to you farm sim snowy two thank you farm sim snowy number one what why do i have to be number two anyway why can't i be number one anyway right here we are on the german version so as you can see the farmhouse is slightly different we do have a sleep trigger on the porch and then round the back we should have the wardrobe function so everything else is all sort of in the same place as you can see so this building here slightly different from the red american barn all the silos same slightly different sort of more of a wood effect and everything else is a little bit more european so the equipment and slot count is slightly different and in new farmer mode on this german version it is 2161 and we start off with the deutsch bar we've also got a class we've got a fent so our truck's different as well we've got an man or man truck class harvester front loader 86 pickup different trailers so the crown pay i think we had the farm tech in the us version header for your harvester cultivator cedar fertilizer spreader mower setup loading wagon forage wagon bell loader in your animals you've got the tanker again pallet fork for your front loader a header trailer and those two weights again so some of it is the same some slightly different now again if you sell off all of that equipment you can get the slot count down to 1937 and that a bit like the us version is going to be the same slot count for farm manager and start from scratch because if you come on here in those two modes you don't start off with anything so that is it back to number one whatever right thank you very much farm sim snowy number two <laughs> right farmhouse just here we have a sleep trigger at the front around the back wardrobe function you can't go in the farmhouse we've got our pickup there underneath the little carport porch lots of um, shed space with all our equipment in as you can see over here is if i go on field info this is the farm production now these two look like they're one building but there's a slight gap between them so farm production on the left farm supply on the right so your ins and outs pallets are spawned there can manage the productions etc like so this is the buy silo thingamajig where we can get a few things from more shed space as you can see there's a lot empty space there so plenty of options there for storing products this is our cow barn 500 cows milk collection point just here they will obviously roam in and around here very nice like so we do have this sort of water that runs all around the map we do get big barges coming along which is quite nice very cool little hut there so if you wanted to come down and chill out oh there's something in there like so 
Now, a bit like the base game ones, so in through here, feed and straw triggers, drive all the way through, and then your slurry collection point just there. Now, in terms of the manure, I haven't tested it, but I imagine you've got to put down a manure heap extension for that to work. There's our silo, as we know, 10 million litre capacity multi fruit. This is our pallet and bell storage, so taking out there and tipping in or unloading your bells should I say this also acts as a nice um, shed got a bit of a hayloft up here we can open this door whether you're going to be able to get anything up there I don't know but there we go more of our equipment and I think that is pretty much it so not too bad so what we're going to do is quickly buy up some of the other areas we need to buy so this farm over here 94,000 just over buy that that is the horses and like I said we've got the farm production farm supply a farmhouse there's also a buying station the bell and pallet storage and a silo and also your animal pen that goes for each farm they will have all of those I'm going to buy this little plot here 49 grand because that is the large open air garden there's also a water point there so we can grab water another farm up here just over 109 grand that's the sheep farm and then up in this corner 101,000. that's going to be your pig farm just there we've got another open air garden that's there that was 35 grand just over oh sorry and like i say we'll wait until we get there and we'll buy the bgas just so you can see that the um triggers aren't actually showing until you buy it so let's head on out and like i say we'll go round clockwise i think now one thing i know actually i forget i said that it doesn't matter Right, there is a few sheds on some of the plots, like this one. Nothing stopping you from using it straight away because it's open, but obviously if you own this plot, you could use it. Plenty of room in places, as you can see. Oh, there's a big barge there, look. Excuse the dodgy angles. Yeah, plenty of room to expand on some of these areas, getting rid of a few trees. There's two vineyards to our left, be it grapes nice big vineyards again you could even extend them if you wish to houses as you can see on the left just in here we have the fast food restaurant sale point and then we do have the bakery now i'm going to stop just run some people over I do apologize i'm going to stop there i'm going to buy this just because i want to show you look at that list so this basically is going to just do the same thing as our farm production on our farm so you don't really need to buy the bakery but we can also do here cereal sunflower oil canola oil and olive oil as well so pretty useful bakery if you did want to buy it but oh holding up the people I do apologize i'm leaving don't panic there we go that's the bakery like I say, that does exactly the same as what we can do down at our farm anyway. So very handy having that on our farm. Now, just in here and down this side, we've got the supermarket sell point. We can just about get round the back, but you probably won't want to be doing that. And then on the left, we've got the tailor shop. So I think it's only the bakery that is different. There is one custom production on here, which again, we will buy just to show you. But it was, I bought all the productions as we went round and as far as I could tell, it was just the bakery that did something different to the norm. Right in here, this is gonna be the campsite. So we're now down here. So if you were to buy this plot of land, like it says in the description, it's gonna generate you some income, which is pretty cool. So you can see you've got these sort of areas. If we click and highlight that. Now, if you do own this plot of land, in fact, I will buy it just to show you. 198 grand, just over. 
we go like that and highlight them you can rename it so you could name it whatever snowy's campsite or something like that whatever you want to obviously you wouldn't call it that got tents and everything there so very cool that that's been done like so there is a cell point which is actually the camping cell point and that is just down in this area got a couple of nice sort of little stalls there where we can buy hot dogs from and things like that nice little touch that and then moving into here we've got our store massive area we've got the shop icon just there the workshop trigger here and this is also your reset point just in there it's like i say very big area which is nice i love all the flowers though that the way omatana's decorated the map farmer's market sale point is just there and then the first of one of the other farms this is the horse farm now i won't go into too much detail um on these but it's basically the same sort of thing we've got the farm supplies and productions in here lots of shed space as you can see farmhouse there with sleep triggers and wardrobe functions bell and pallet things buying station silos etc we do have the horse barn up the back so feed and straw in there this will hold 16 horses we can go in and out if you want to take them for a ride which is cool so the farms will just be a little quick walk through like that because like i say everything's exactly the same as the cow farm just slightly different layout etc right heading up this way and we're coming to that custom production that i talked about and this i love this sort of entrance this is the windmill production so just here you might be familiar with this very cool mod you can go in if you want and it's all working look winding away awesome so you would unload there you can use it as a sale point but also you can buy it if you wish to 20 grand very cheap and here we can produce flour that is it so we've got a couple of options though so wheat barley oats sorghum or corn you can just put like for like in um well you'll get slightly less flour sorry than you will what you're putting in but then we have a couple of other different ingredients it is still putting those crops in but you're getting pig food out as well as a byproduct so if we look at wheat for example we're putting 15 in and getting 12 out and as you can see the standard recipe 15 in 12 out and the cycles per month is exactly the same so why you wouldn't do this men uh, recipe i don't know because you're going to get some pig food from it now i'm not sure whether you could sell pig food on this map if you're not doing pigs but you could always put down a sell everything sell point and sell off your pig food if you wanted to right moving on we've got the animal dealer which is very cool because we've got animated animals which i love that is obviously using up a animal pen if i click on that it's using up a cow pasture so just something to note if you're on console it will use up an animal pasture around the side there we've got the animal dealer cell point for bells straw loose and things like that silage pretty smart we've got a couple of productions in here so these are all standard we've got the grape production and the dairy just there and then we've got spinnery as well that's standard setup and this look at the size of this this is the large open air garden <laughs> so it's basically quite a few of the standard open air gardens all joined together now what i like about this is because it is so big and as you can see you've got the opportunity to grow several different things we've got quite a large pallet spawn point there as well oh just get out of this chap's way so that's pretty cool we've got the water point just there so we can sell that off if you wanted to garden pump but obviously we can get water out there now with this if you're not familiar we've got a few different recipe types so we can produce tomatoes lettuce strawberries potatoes sunflower sugar beet soybeans corn and cotton 
You can do all of those just by putting in water, but then if you wanna make your productions a little bit faster, we can do all those again, but we can add seeds or solid fertilizer, and then we can scroll down a bit more and we can add seeds or manure. So that will produce them a little bit faster if you're adding in those products, like so. Right, carrying on up, we have a sow point. I love the way this flower arrangement is. It looks like an archery board, very cool. We've got a sow point here. This is the harbor sow point. So it's very cool, sow there, as that pipe runs all the way down there to simulate the barge getting loaded up with whatever you're selling which is awesome. If I quickly drive through the hedge and go up into this mode, you can see we've got the small wind turbines here. So if you buy this plot of land, we're now up here, for 298,000 just over, you're gonna get an income generated from those wind turbines. So pretty cool that that's there. Right, we'll carry on. And we'll go this way. We've got another farm here. This is your sheep farm. So again, we're gonna have all the productions and things like that. Lovely farmhouse, the way that's been done with the trees and the flowers. Awesome. Jump out, we've got the sheep barn. So feed just in there. Your wall will appear in the end there. And then this will hold a thousand sheep. And they've got that area out there so quite a big capacity there silos etc right moving on from there we've got a couple of what we got coming up next productions we do have the oil mill and next to that the sugar mill so like I said earlier if you want to produce sugar via sugar cane and sugar be cut you will need to buy this sugar mill just in here we have the grain mill but this is just a production uh sorry this is just a sell point not a production just a sell point because obviously we have the other facilities on the map to produce what you can normally produce at a grain mill if that makes sense and then we do have another bga but again this is purely just a sell point so just in there, you can sell silage and things like that. And then next door to that, we have the biomass heating plant, which is another sell point. People walking around everywhere, cars parked up, very nicely detailed, pretty cool map. And then the last of the farms, and this is the Piggy Wiggies. You can see the sign out the front. Again, all the sheds farmhouses etc silos same as the others except this is pigs feed and straw in there this will hold a thousand pigs as well they're gonna roam around down there and the slurry a bit like the base game one is going to be collected there and again with the manure you're probably going to need to put down a manure heap extension right from the pigs we're going to head down this way now this is the road which our farm is on so we've got a little watchtower there so we are pretty much doing a full circle or square shall i say another massive open air garden so it's nice that there's two of them on there and then we move into this zone so just so you don't get confused with what's going on here because they are all quite next door to each other got a couple of sell points first so this is just a sell point for wood chips it's nothing to do with the sawmill so just for wood chips selling and then we have just a sell point for wood just there next door is now the sawmill so we've got our wood chip buy product so you can get your wood chips from your sawmill there buy the sawmill planks there sell your wood there happy days job done now next door is the bga so i purposely haven't bought this yet so you can see no icons at all showing up but if we now come over to there and buy that 
it's only 321,000 just over by that the BGA icon appears there and all the icons appear there the usual sort of in and out triggers like so and that I believe is it that is the map that is four fields by Omatana I hope you have enjoyed the map tour if you have please hit that like button guys and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing that would be fantastic and don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine I've been Farm Sim Snowy stay frosty